After getting this still air incubator, I put in 12 eggs. And out of 12 eggs, 11 hatched. I did a hillbilly kind of method, I guess, because I put my computer fan in there. And instead of putting water in the bottom, I put it in a cup. And it worked perfect. I can hear the chicks. It's not focusing very well, sorry about that. First chick is born. It had started coming out this morning when I got up, so it took it about 12 hours probably. This one's working its way out. The second one back there. On this side. Here, look at mommy's phone. Can you see it? You see it. Yeah. Hey, tick, tick, tick. Hey, tick, tick, tick. It's a cute little tick, tick, tick. Hi, little tick. Chicksy. Daddy, come here! Uh, a chick is kind of cute. Yeah. 
Here's the three babies born so far. You can see one at the back trying to come out. The little black one, I didn't even see it on the shell. It was coming out underneath or something and suddenly it just came right out of the shell. That one behind it's been working a little while. So I hope it's alright. This is my first time using an incubator so I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> you see a whole bunch more now? Look, that blood. Yeah. What that blood for? Inside the egg. I'll just have to watch and make sure they're okay. They're okay. They look like it. Sorry, it's blurry. Not the best picture on that side. Got five now.
Mommy. Okay. It's getting long. I don't know if you can see this little one here in front. I had to make her little splints because when she was born, for some reason her feet were curled. And I looked it up online and sometimes they can be that way if they have a harder time hatching, which she did. It took her a little bit longer. So I went online to see what to do and showed how to make little splints and she's getting around really really well. This one, I'm the foot we're looking at right now, I might need to redo here before long and spread her little feet out a little bit further. The other foot I already did it too because it, the little splint came off. So she's doing really good. She's not falling over as bad now. I left her splints on for two days and she seems to be doing pretty well now. One toe is still a little curled but I think it'll be okay. Here's the last babies that hatched yesterday and late, late last night. Where'd the little yellow one go? She's in there somewhere. Oh, there she is. She hatched right before we went to bed last night. So I had the egg carton to cover these two things, but they've knocked it down. That's the little bowl I keep the water in. I didn't put it underneath. That way I could monitor how much water was in it. And that's my com computer fan right there. But it worked to keep it humid, like the temperature even throughout. If I didn't have it going, the temperature wouldn't stay right at all. So definitely if you get a still air make sure you have some sort of fan in it to keep the temperature even. This one is so cute. I just can't get over how cute its face is. So thanks so much for watching and I'll give an update on them pretty soon. And I've got a hen outside. She was sitting on some eggs and one was starting to hatch yesterday so I might go out today and see how they're doing. So, if you haven't done so, subscribe, and we should have a lot more fun stuff going on. So, have a great day, y'all.